Okay, you guys. We're going to take it live here. Hopefully you can see us okay. Boy, can you just kind of squeeze over? <laughs> so we don't know what be happening. Y'all have to tell us if you can see us now. Uh, we're on Fuller's page. And so we will see. I should use my iPad like this. Yeah, we have people that are joining, so we can see. We're going to use okay. my iPad, so we should probably yeah, stay with it. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. So we um, we are back on, you guys. So sorry. We knew something didn't seem right because we were just talking away. And uh, thank you guys for the love. Uh, we were just talking away, and we couldn't. We didn't see anybody uh, see joining. And so, well, I get um, my, I get no, my iPad. No, nope, nope, we're not going to start over. Let's just do it from right here. And so, um, thank you guys for Tess, much love. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. So, you are you guys saying that you couldn't come back over, babe? So, you guys saying that you couldn't hear us before? Couldn't see us? What was going on? I know Yvonne Holmes uh, wrote for and said he couldn't see. Um, but we were live. Yeah, you can see us now, Chris Page. But so, apparently, something was going on because we were live from our stream yard. And Fuller and I weren't seeing. But we did see Emily. And we saw somebody else that was joining in. But um, so we are here trying to figure out uh, getting you guys back on. So in any event, let's, let's continue on. So we were talking about um, our Valentine's and all the stuff that we had done on Valentine's Day. And I know you guys are trying to see full. Let me try to make sure I can see us well, I see really good. Stuff, but you're not in it then. When I'm yeah, here. I just scoot over. I just scoot over. Okay, we'll do it this way. So, how are you guys doing? Good to see you. Yes, good. Pastor Glover, we could see you, but we don't think you could see our comments. Yeah, we couldn't see your comments. We don't know why. Uh, hello, Cuzzler. I'm really tempted, you know, because technology is great until it don't work, right? So, I'm tempted for us to just do our Facebook Lives. Yeah, it it we, makes it a lot easier. It, it was better on the iPad too. So yeah, and no and trouble, and so. I think the the um, the graphics and on got here. A, and got a, Broad as you, yeah. yeah, and it looks we, that's where we started, so you know, yeah. stick to what, what's working, yes, all is well. Thank you guys for the love, we appreciate it. You know, we don't uh, uh, profess to be the, the best at this uh social media, but we do our what we what we do, okay? So you can see us both, okay? So we were talking about uh for about 15 minutes, <laughs> we well, well, you start, you start yeah. about uh, you know, as we was uh leading up to the date. Uh, I bought Paige some uh, oh, yeah. gifts to coat her, to uh -huh. tell her what to look for in a man uh -huh. who should treat her like that. And uh -huh. I gave her some candy the first day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, he, he Fuller yeah. does a really good job. Not only is he dating me, uh, but he's dating Paige. And Paige really, I can just see, I don't know for those that know Paige and have seen her, you can just see the glow on her because she, she feels important. And it, it's just something about her um, her having someone that admires and admonishes her and lifts her up and encourages her. So thank you for, for buying my baby, our, our baby Valentine's uh, mm -hmm. gifts and making her feel special. Yeah. And so you feel special. Time. Yeah. She belongs to me. Mm -hmm. And he did <laughs> special <laughs> things for me. And so you guys, as we're talking, write in the chat, if you don't mind, some of the things that you did, we're going to call it out, right, that were, that you did for Valentine's Day. Um, I, I, we are interested to know what you, you did as well. So this is our post-Valentine's Day um, Facebook Live. And then we're also going to, you know, talk a little bit about love. Love is what love do. Love is what love do. Love has a corresponding action. Love has a corresponding action. And the action is a demonstration of kindness. Mm. And and it's a demonstration of my love is my act toward you and to you. Not anything for me. Love is unselfish. God so loved the world he gave. He gave. It was a away from himself so our love should always be away from ourself expecting nothing in return if you get something in return that's you feel like a queen at all times not if not not on sundays or date night friday night 
but it's to make you feel special, like you want to come home, mm -hmm. and you want to cook for me, you want to, because I, 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 I plan to be and try to be um, so kind and so generous and so considerate yeah. and, 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 and show you, always show you honor and never disrespect you uh, at, uh, for you to, because I want you to walk in your queendom. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, love is what love do. Mm -hmm. I started off giving her a gift, I think Friday, uh -huh. uh, before Valentine was Monday. And I started off that way. And I think I started off with the, uh, you was telling me about the iPod, the, uh, oh, the yeah, charger, the, three-way the charger. charger. Just simple things. And they were, you know, expensive. And it wasn't gifts. expensive, you know, just no. the thought. They were just, you know, this uh, charging station. I think you said you got it from Amazon. It charges my phone, my watch, and my, my uh, iPod. I mean, my uh, Airpod. Airpod, AirPods yeah. uh, that go in my ear. And so but something really simple. And look, you guys, I want to share this with you. Um, Fuller's so right that uh, love, there's a demonstrated or co corresponding action. I asked him... Um, because over the years, as I've dated and, had, and been married, uh, I always assumed, and it's probably true depending on your relationship, that uh, you exchange gifts. But I asked Fuller, just because I was curious, I said, now, you keep talking about you doing <laughs> buying me gifts. Aren't I supposed to buy you something too? <laughs> Look, you guys, I'm in my 50s. I don't have to ask the question. <laughs> so he said, actually, because, oh, I, I think I said to you, I'm going to get paid something for sure. Should I be buying Austin something? He said, uh-uh. That, that, Valentine's is really for the, the lady. And I said, oh, okay. I was like, I mean, I don't have to buy you nothing. <laughs> but he was like, mm -mm. no, Valentine's is for you. I'm saying, uh, making sure that you are happy and that you're taken care of. I was like, oh, father. But I, I ended up getting you. You know, a watch. A, a Versace watch. Uh -huh. I, I, Very what nice. I really like. And I looked at that watch mm -hmm. and, and and didn't get it. And I just, I looked at it. I said, ah, nah, I don't need another watch. I don't even buy no watch. And then, sure enough, you, you for sure, you, mm -hmm. you got, got it. You got what you wanted. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm not, we're, I don't know. Are we trying to outdo one another? And, oh, I don't oh, know. I'm going to outdo you. Ladies, y'all hear that? Oh. But I got a gift. And not only the watch, I got a chance to see the four tops and, and the temptation, the tem temptation on the second row. Man, yes. we were jamming, having so much fun, man. We were. Man, they were so good, man. Otis William, the one of the original founders of the Temptations, was there. Yes. And he was, what, 90? 80, 80. 80, 80 years old, and he was still performing, and he looks great. I mean, it was really, really good. I mean, the tops was good, but the temptation was great. Amen. And, man, it took me back in a lot of memories, man, all those songs. And they they had guys sound like Eddie Kendricks. Oh, my uh, man, my God. They I mean, so it was good. just so, so good, man. I mean, was, and look, y'all look, and it wasn't just that we went to go see the Temptations and the Four Tops. Well, we was on the second row. The second row. The second. I was like, come on, Father God, show us some favor. Look here, you guys. When I went to go purchase the tickets, the hey, whole one, place. One of the Hines and Lynetta Dead uh -huh. and Yvonne Holmes and uh, you said uh, Chris Page, uh -huh. Executive Pay Group. Uh, Glory Mart. Hey, Glory, what's happening in Chi-Town? And, and I'm glad they were watching. Hi, they, they were what's watching. What's happening in Chi-Town, Yvonne? Always, mm -hmm. and man, we had we had a ball, and but you know what? It's not the amount of money you spend on a gift, cause you know I me. Mean? I mean, you make it only buy one flower. You can only buy, but it's the act of kindness, and that's what we have to. I don't want to put emphasis on um, um, the the money part. Now, I did buy her an expensive bracelet that yeah, really nice. was pricey, but. It's because I'm in a situation that I am now where I can do it. Uh -huh. But I, 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 in my first marriage, I was uh, couldn't do that. But I always find something to give Jean. And I just didn't start this with you. I started giving Jean all the time. Because, again, Jean brought me from a grown boy to a grown man. Yeah. And she taught me how to uh, uh, be a husband, taught me how to be a um, 
uh, giving and kind. I was like, well, I was already giving and kind, but just took it to another level. But look, since since baby, you been uh, uh, giving and kind, would you do me a favor What's right that? now? Uh -huh. Could you go upstairs and get the phone charger so the phone don't don't die? Okay, please go. No, no you didn't. No, yes. you didn't. See, I told you to use my phone. See, yeah, we're about she to have don't an listen. Right now. She don't listen. Baby, go. See, baby, always go. telling her. Baby, go. She never. No, no, I'm not going. <laughs> so I got to finish this part. I was looking at my phone and the phone said, uh, low on battery. I'm telling you, you guys, I, I'm so uh, excited because Fuller does. He does some amazing things. Um, you know, he, he also... He did this on his own. I, I don't coach him or say to him, you know, um, here's what I'd like to do or what are we going to do for Valentine's Day? Uh, or did you get me something for Valentine's Day? Or are we getting each other something? I'd already planned on getting him something. And definitely I already knew he was getting me something because he'd already started giving Paige and me gifts. And and I love that. Yeah, uh, he, he reminds me now, I'm the man that you never dated. Man, y'all, y'all listen to me. That y'all can steal that from Fuller. You can keep saying that to your spouse. You can keep saying it to your girlfriend. You can keep saying that, uh, you know, if you in in hot pursuit of a young woman or whatever, or you know, or you're the the female. You can say, I'm the woman that you've never dated. I'm the man that you've never dated, and I and I'm going to a whole nother level, baby. Sure. You just plug that in right there, on the the um okay the one of them lights. Is my laptop, which is okay because I'm not using the laptop right now. It's the top top one. Unplug that one. But you guys, I'm telling you, it, it's good to be able to have a man. You know, look at him. Look at him doing stuff for me right now. Come on. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. And so, but it's good. I mean, and then he he made reservations to one of uh one of the hotels in Alpharetta. So the Glovers are on. We we uh, went and had. Uh, an amazing lunch with them. We were talking about that before you guys joined, but had an amazing lunch. And it was so good. It was such a peaceful day. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we titled this, if you guys saw the segment, um, when we advertised, which is We Love Love. Yeah, We Love Love. Mm -hmm. And the Glovers said that we taught them something. And you start Valentine's Day early. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to... Uh, uh, restaurant that night, they put extra tables out. Yeah, they squeeze everybody in, and that's not romantic. Yeah. So we went today while it was uh, yeah, up in the uh, day, up in the day where it wasn't crowd and everything. You got good wait waiters and wait service, and it was just uh, started a good day. And then you go from there to whatever she wanted to do, uh -huh. whether you want to go shopping, whether you want to see a movie. Yeah, we started. They, our, they went to a movie. Yeah, our reservation so was at eleven, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, eleven. Yeah. So, so, so y'all have to wait the late at night and 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 get together and and try to plan. You know, the the thing is, is that we don't have to be like the world. We don't have to be like everybody else because everybody else does Valentine's like the like everybody else. Right. But you're different. And what I love about Fuller is that you know not only does he buy these gifts, that's the bonus. It's nice to have the gifts, but the demonstration of love through here, through the heart. Through the words, because he'll say in a minute, I, "I'm the man you've never dated, darling. I told you, girl. I told you, darling." And I didn't buy any flowers. He didn't buy no flowers. No. I wasn't even looking for Cause the flowers. Because that's what the world do. They give flowers. Yeah, yeah. And they jack the price up about two hundred percent. So mm -hmm. take that two hundred percent and invest in a gift. Uh -huh. And by the way, that will last. When you do buy flowers. Oh no, no, no! You did buy flowers. You bought me some flowers. Oh, before Valentine's, because they were still good price. Yeah, they were, look at them. They were still good price. But look, baby ain't broke. So he could go buy the flowers, but he, we, oh, we in convenience. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. You know, it was good. He was at the store. Yeah. He got a bouquet. For, like a, for, a, for Paige and for you. Yep. We, yeah. we talked about that the last time we met. Right. He got me one. He got Paige one for her room. <laughs> and he got my mama one. <laughs> you know, so, you know, what's good is that my mom... She, she loves some fuller. Look, and she today her son. She, she calls him her her favorite son-in-law. And son, he, no, son, she son. Calls son. Oh, she don't even say son-in-law, does no. she? She says son. No. Oh, that's what love does. That's what love does. It tears down wall. Mm. It covers uh, uh, all shortcomings. Oh, no, everything. She loves some. And fuller. look, we got an invitation to do a marriage workshop in March. Oh yeah. Uh, at uh, Shield of Faith. Um, uh, Dr. Chris and Pastor Melissa Clark. So we got an opportunity to do that. And while I'm talking about that too, 
It's Called Life is going to be on Thursday at 7 o'clock. It's a show that I do for Dr. Dollar, and he is going to be my first guest this year. So tune into that on uh, It's Called Life. On Facebook uh, Live right uh, here. And, 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 and other uh, social media, YouTube, yep. uh, Twitter, whatever else, uh, all social um, um, platforms, platforms yeah. it will be there. So I want to plug that. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to ask some pastoral questions, but I'm going to ask some questions about life also yeah. and where, and where we see we going in the future for his, for his ministry. Yeah, but, um, you know, I, I want to refer it back to something too that, um, that we talked about love, love. Um, the Dr. Smith and uh, Dr. Dwight and, and, and Dr. Yvonne they were just, I was just so impressed with the love that you could see between them. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, it was genuine. You don't see that in too many uh, couples where you see the love that they have. You know, it was a, a knitting and it, it was just good to see that someone been married a long time and then still enjoy life. Look, enjoy your marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, don't invest in your, all your time and all your energy in your children because I'm telling you, the children get grown and they get gone. Then you are there facing each other. Don't wait till mm -hmm. they go to start investing time in each other. Take time out. Find a babysitter. Uh, get a family yes. member to come over and stay and have that time to yourself because don't become strangers. I'm trying to tell you how to... Uh, um, a fair proof your marriage. A fair proof your marriage. And that is being kind. Like I was talking, we were talking earlier, I'm rehearsing some of the things we said before. But those nightgowns, I mean, they're good for every once in a while, but you know, it's kind of, you know, you got to, you know, have the sex on. Yeah, you don't come have up the sex out on. Of them, basically. Yeah, and, and, and the and the blue bunny, the black bunny. You know, um you make it, you have to make it interesting. Uh, the element of surprise is yeah. always good. I mean, um, it's always good, you know. Um, keep it fun. Keep it lighthearted. Don't let nothing pull you down. Don't let nothing pull you away. One thing, don't get your in-laws involved in your relationships at all. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I was thinking about that today. One thing, my sister, uh, Fat, Linda, Jennifer, Vera, my brothers, uh, Horace, with AKA Trey, thank you for driving me to North Carolina, Trey, um, and Chris, they never heard me say anything about Jean. Mm -hmm. I never, ever criticized Jean in front of them. Yeah. Don't bring invite other people in your marriage. If you got to have someone in your marriage, have somebody that's more mature, definitely not a family member, right. because you will forgive them and move on. Yeah. And they'll still have that animosity toward them and have ill feeling toward them. And that will cause problem in your marriage. So you want to get somebody more mature, uh, whether it's a pastor, whether it's a minister, whether it's just an uh, uh, elderly person who had been through some things. But don't do that because we're trying to make this thing love works. Yeah. It, it works. But you have to work it. it, it it's like I was telling my homeboy today, Clem Hector, every diet that I ever Done. done. Every diet that I looked at, mm -hmm. every diet I know someone been on, it worked. It worked. But you got to work you it. Got to work it. And so that's the way it is with marriage. Marriage is work. When I passed the church, we did this thing and once a month called marriage maintenance. Mm -hmm. You didn't need a new engine. You didn't need a transmission. You just need the oil chained and tuned up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we have to do in our marriage. We have to keep it tuned up. And, and that brings some excitement uh, uh, to our lives. And just don't, don't, don't let it be mundane. Don't let it just, just going through the motion. And so many marriages, man, and I'm sad to say this, and most of Christian marriages, they are going through um, Motions. the motion. Let me, let me tell you, Chad, this with you. I hadn't told Darlene this. I'm going to tell her now. Love and kindness is always in season. And because we've sown love and kindness, we have a stay four days and four nights in Destin, Florida, on the water, in a high-rise uh, free of charge. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, you know I want to ask them more questions. I want to say that for later. Love oh. and kindness is always in season. Oh, oh look <laughs> so at that. Anytime time I take them up on it. So, but these are the things that happen when you share uh, love and kindness. It's it's always in season. I never want to quit saying that, yeah. but I never want to quit acting like and that. And not always looking for something in return. I'm, I was looking. At, I'm I'm giving. I mean, love is away from me. Yeah. I'm I'm casting away from me. The yeah. kindness I'm casting away from me, and I'm yeah. not looking for anything. Even when I saw in the people' life, I, I'm looking for a return, but yeah. it's not from the same place, uh -huh. right. not from the same thing. Uh -huh. Cause it's always always a, a, a giver, and I've been told, you know, because I'm such a giver. Um, uh, um, I just said Doc Layton told me to put your cash app on your on your page, oh, put your cap app on your page, because you know I'm so I'm so focused on ministering to people, so focused to helping people, and when God for dance quit being ministry. Uh, I'm out. I told Darlene that yeah. uh, privately. I've told her when it quit being ministry, I'm out. Uh, I'm not trying to build a, a a large Facebook page. You are not trying to build yeah. a, a a YouTube following on YouTube yeah. channel. It has to be about the people. It has to be about ministry. And when that ends, yeah. uh, it's all over. You know, because even when I'm uh, as you're talking, um, and you said about just uh, just how. You know, just the love between uh, two people, and as I'm as I'm watching you, you you exemplify the the words of love because it's shared abroad in your heart. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. it is who yeah. you are, and the one thing you said was is that you never let your in laws become a part of your marriage relationship. I'm so thankful that I didn't hear it from you, but I learned it over the years because that's something I watched. My sister do. She let my mom into their relationship, mm -hmm. and it, it really, it, when they the negative Tarnish. conversation, it, Tarnish. it tarnishes your respect, their respect for the other partner. But um, so I've never done that. So today, I, re I remember I was filling out uh, some information of on a survey, and it, one of the questions was: is uh, write down the person that you most admire. Who is it that is? I don't know, famous, that you know, that that you most admire, that you ex respect the most. And you know what I put down? Pass a dollar. I put down Kenneth Fuller. Oh, man. And the reason why I put down Kenneth Fuller, oh. I did. I did. I wrote down. <laughs> oh, scoop, 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 scoop. I did. I wrote down Kenneth Fuller and I said, I just admire who he is. Not only just a man of God, and I know y'all saying that's Bishop Fuller. It is, but he's he's Fuller to me. He's my husband, and I can truly say you know what? my husband. And I can truly say how much I admire the wisdom, how seasoned he is, how seasoned he is with his words, how seasoned he is with his character, how seasoned he is in his relationships. Other than me, who he is at home is really who he is is in public. So he doesn't have a Christian face. And then when he come home, he has a, uh, a, a mean face. And so even for those people that are watching that you're single, and I know sometimes the single people don't think they need to tap into this, but they do because we talk about single stuff too. So even the single pe people, as you're watching this, you know what not to settle for. You don't have to settle for, you know, on Valentine's Day, not getting, you know, anything. And, and, and I don't mean it has to be a physical uh, exchange, but but sometimes that, that exchange lets you know, especially as women, we want to be able to see, you know, that somebody cares or to come by. Or, or whatever it is. So don't, ladies, men, my point is, don't settle for less than God's best. God expects for you to, to, to not settle. Hey, look, Carol, uh, Bobby, Jackie Adams. Uh, who else you see? Uh, Yvonne, uh, yeah. Nina Clark. Hey, Nina. Uh, Wanda Hines. Uh, just, just give some people a shout out. Yeah. But, you know, it's not hard. You know, it's hard to be angry and mean, and I mean, and it's 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 not going to change your situation. It's gonna make it, it. It will change. It make it worse. Yeah. You know, uh, I was talking. I had a conversation with Paige the other day, and I was talking about forgiveness. And I know something Pastor Dollar said a long time ago about forgiveness, unforgiveness. Said, uh, 
uh, not forgiving and having unforgiveness in your heart is like drinking poison and looking for the other person to die. Uh -huh. It really kills a relationship. Don't, it, it's not a big, look, I'm, look, look y'all, I'm not perfect. I know Darlene been talking about me and this. I've been, I have been, um, uh, I have been one of them, uh, a husband that wasn't no good. I've been a husband that oh, that's, that's cheated. I've been a husband that um, lied. I've been a husband that's that was bad. I was terrible, and but I got born again, mm -hmm. and I got born again. But, but I, even even lying and crooked and all that, I was still kind. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't from a love point of view. Right. It was from a lust, lustful, uh -huh. worldly kind of love. But then I changed, yeah. and I and I just realized that the, the different challenge that I had in my first marriage, I didn't have to have it uh, no longer in that marriage. So I really had two marriages with one woman because yeah. the first time Jean was married, uh -huh. right, and you were, <laughs> and I wasn't. The second time yeah, I, was, I was, we was married, and I made it the best. I have no regrets. I won't look back and regret anything. Uh, I forgive myself. Jean forgave me, and I nourished her hand and feet. I, I I crowned her even when she could not walk and go anywhere else. I went and got us a room. I still went and got rooms. I still yeah. uh, took her out. I uh, had to push in a wheelchair. I used to have to get Matt to come and help me with her right. on the road sometimes, but I always took care of her. I loved her that much, and I will always love her that much. Yeah. And, and and now that she taught me that kind of love, I can turn it up with my love for you right. because she taught me so very much. And I'm a, re I'm, I'm a recipient right. of what Jean right. did. Man, right. thank you, Father God, yeah. for yeah. Jean Fuller, yeah. who, who helped a Fuller. Yeah. Yeah. So, are. so you can turn it around, no matter what you do. I turn it around. If I do it, you can do it because uh, it, it's impossible. So, turn it around. Wake up and start anew. The Bible says His mercies is new every morning. God will give you the mercy, uh -huh. the grace, and the kindness, and He will give you the wisdom uh, uh -huh. to know how to do it. Uh, you got to earn that respect again. Yeah. It may not go like you wanted to go at first, but you right. can't keep chipping away and chipping away with love, chipping yeah. away with kindness. And the number one thing uh, Q and I does a lot of time, do good seeds. Yeah. Do good seeds. Now, she have tickets for me to go see Buddy Guy. Man, I can't wait to go see Buddy Guy. Buddy Guy, if you don't know me, he's a blues player. I love the Good blues, talk. being in Chicago, being in um, um, uh, D.C., being in St. Louis, uh, blues country. And Buddy Guy used to play with B.B. Right. King, Albert King, Holland Wolf, Muddy Waters. He was a young guy then uh, when he was playing, but now he's about in his 80s. Uh -huh. But, man, I, I can't wait to go and here. that's in March. I love myself some blues. So these are do good things. Yeah. It was for no reason. It's not for Valentine's. Right. It was, she know I love the blues and she know I love Buddy mm -hmm. Guy and she went and bought the tickets for it. I mean, yeah. I mean, man, my God, yeah. you know, you might not can afford a Buddy Guy's uh, pass and you might can, but but you can, you can pay for a movie. Yeah, but you can find out which what movie your wife like. Pay attention. That's another yes. thing. I'm uh, yes. Pay attention to what your wife pay attention so yes, to yes. because she'll tell you what she want. Yes. Women pay attention to what your husband say and and look at and talk about what they want. And yeah. uh, he tells they we we don't hide nothing. You tell everything. Just yeah. pay attention. Yeah. Just listen, and they they tell you exactly what they desire. And so the 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 like Fuller said, you gotta you gotta pay attention, and then you gotta do. You you can't say, oh, I know you you like me to wear like for example, Fuller. This is not his preference, and I'm pointing at my lips because this lipstick is not necessarily his preference. But the majority of the time, I will wear you know a red, a color lipstick. But I know for the most part what he likes to see, and I know how he likes for me to look. And so I'm always asking, is does this represent? You know, does this look good? You know, and so he's going to tell me the truth. The same thing for him. You know, and even look, check, check this out, you guys. Even when, like me and Fool will be talking sometimes, and, and not all the time, but we'll just be having casual conversation. And then uh, if I'll smell his breath or he smell my breath, we gently reach in our pocket. I'd be, baby, just put this in your mouth. And he'd be like, oh, my breath smell? I said, just put it in your mouth. Yeah, right here. Give me one right now. 
Because we always in each other's face. So we just say, just go. Y'all want one? Huh. Look, y'all can get this from the store. They come, you can buy me Sam. They, and, and these ain't even Sam. These may be Sam version. But we're not ashamed Walmart. or afraid to, to correct the other one in love. So this is a simple. You could, and so then it makes me want to touch on him. Because he got bad breath. I don't want to be kissing up on him all that stuff. But, but look, so you got what? But I know you got my best interest in mind. Right. So you're not trying to... Criticize. So, right. You got my best interest. Because I, I don't want to go nowhere else and, and I'm trying to present something of... Uh, uh, present something to somebody in my breath state. I said, why you didn't tell me? Right. I didn't want to slay nobody in the flesh. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> they fall out yeah. in the flesh. We, we love... You guys, the point is tonight... We love love. It's 640. And I know we, we were 15 minutes into the other session that I uh, deleted. But we just wanted to come on and share our experience about our first Valentine's together uh, as married, as a married couple. And just to encourage those that are married, whether you're widowed, whether you're single, that the best is yet to come. Yes. It, it, it doesn't stop with a Valentine's Day. It's, it's every single day. So so wherever your, whatever your status is, just know that there's another status coming. There's another level coming. And you can keep improving. Right. That's right. Every single That's day. Right. It, it, it's, um, I want to continue living this fairy tale. Yeah. I really want to listen. Marriage can be a fairy tale. Wow, that's good. I man. wake up every morning looking for what's going to happen today. Great expectation of something different going to happen today. You make the difference. So that do good seed. Remember that. Do good seed. He could be a nun made you so doggone mad. You could cuss the skin off the wall. You could be so yeah. mad. Yeah. But you sure I'm going to do good. See, it take a fool not to respond to love and kindness. Yeah. So, hey, man, look, it's easy. It's easy. Just don't take yourself so serious. I read a scripture the other night at, at the clocks. Um, Paul said, I, 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 count my, I don't count my life dear to myself. Mm -hmm. That means I don't think I'm so important. I don't think I'm mm -hmm. so all of that. It's away from me. Mm -hmm. The love and kindness is away. I got one thing I want to ask them to do because we've been talking about it all night. So I'm going to ask you guys, it doesn't matter your status. Um, you're single. We, we want you to do some do good seats this week. Between now and next Monday, yeah. seven days, seven days. Do good. Do good seats. So if you're married... Do, do good seeds. You can tell your spouse, if they're not watching this, that, that we talked about it. But whether they do it back to you or not, that's not the issue. But watch how your love changes. So if you're single, plant a seed in somebody's life. Cash app somebody. No. One of the best gifts that I receive is not, doesn't cost much money. I had a handwritten letter. Oh. By page, yeah, and every week I get a card from my girlfriend, uh -huh. and I, I tell my wife about it. The, the website is called sendoutcards.com. You can send sign out up. Sendoutcards.com, and so you can send out any kind of. And letter. they have our picture on some pictures we've Put taken picture in the on. past, some pictures we've taken in the future, and it's and, and it's about us. And it's just so loving. I mean, that's so kind. I mean, it doesn't cost that much. I mean, uh, uh, pen is on a dollar. But look, he gets to go to the mailbox. And when he gets these these letters, he's like, oh, excited. Like, he's opening it up like, my girlfriend sent me this card. And I put our picture on it. Because you can do it from your phone. It's a it's an app. It's called sendoutcards.com. And it's an app. And I can create it. In fact, I mail my mom a Valentine's card. I mail my brother a birthday card. And I can send uh, gifts from the, the site as well. Let's see. Sendoutcards.com. That's it. Marilyn Foster. Thank you so much. Uh, but it's so great. That's just one thing. Y'all, they don't give me no money for advertising for them. But, you know, but for seven days, find somebody to sow into and watch how happy you feel but if you are married do it for your spouse you know so if you're not normally a toucher practice on touching one another wouldn't, wouldn't that be good just to practice the love of just touching oh. and so anyway you guys I, oh, oh, oh. 
Hold on, baby. Oh, 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 so, I thought you were talking about me touching you. Uh, well, I am touching you. Mm. You know, so th th hey, hold on. Mm. Thank you, babe, for an amazing Valentine's Day. And I know we're doing this broadcast, but I have to tell you, you are the man of my dreams. You're the man that I could have never imagined. Only God could have done this. And so thank you for being demonstrating the love of God in the physical and in the spiritual Amazing. Okay, y'all, we, we be trying to we, we do, do a lot sometimes. <laughs> so anyway, I got to go because I got orchestra practice at seven. But I wanted to say that. And uh, we got homework assignment, you guys, for seven days. Let's do good see seven days. Okay, we have here who? You go ahead, babe. I got to, uh, I got to get on the road. Geneva Bland, Yvonne Holmes, Jeffrey, uh, Pastor Jeffrey Glover, Marilyn Foster, one of the hands again. Uh, Ida Pittman, uh, Nisa Harris, uh, oh, Emily. Hey, good to see you, Emily, again. Hey, I just Emily. love you guys so much. Hey, how y'all like my brim? How it's you like cute. my brim? I, it's cute. I never wore a brim before, so I've been wearing caps. So I got me a brim. Got I got a brim. wide brim. I, I got a wide br uh, rim brim. Uh, so I'm going to wear that next week, maybe. So, man, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I love y'all so much. Uh, we have to get out of here. But um, thanks for taking that. Hey, hey, homegirl, Lisa, uh, uh, Ector. Ivy uh, Pittman, hey, <laughs> cuz. Car Carolyn. Carolyn. Holston. Oh, yeah, Holston. And then uh, we got Pastor, you know, Glover be on all right. the time. Marilyn Foster, we thank you for that. that. Emily again. Seven oh, days. Seven yeah. days, everybody. Seven, seven days. days. Seven days. Do good see. The do good see. What's up, Prince, Princess Barkley? Yeah, okay. Do good Griffin see. in the hails. All right, you guys. What's up, Boo and Vera? Diane Harvey, Boo and Vera. Hey, Fat, Linda. Yes. Hey, what's up, Linda? Thank you, uh, Alicia Ector Phillips. Yes, ma'am. You guys are amazing. We got to go, though. I got to go to orchestra practice. Glenda Howard, all you guys are on. God bless you. God <laughs> bless you. God bless you. Y'all go get y'all some music. Take us out with, with your own music. All right, you guys got to go. I'll let you. Go. Bye-bye. <laughs>